I know this video has been done like multiple times before, but it hasn't been done for me, so it's probably shit. This video is all about the best ways of making gems. The reason why I'm the guy to trust is because I have 25,000 gems in on my phone account, not this account. This is my PC account. Also, I will have a gem counter in the bottom left, and I'm going to jump into the, the my number one way straight away. First, you need to go into options. And you see that little button right there called Submit Referral? This is the greatest way of making gems if you use it properly. It's a little hard, but any player can just make an easy five gems right now if they use someone's friend code. Personally, I'd like you to use mine. Also, if you don't know anyone else's friend code, you could just use this for PC and this for phone. Those are my friend codes. And when you use them as your referral, you will get five gems and I will get five gems. And if you want to optimize this the most, you need to tell as many people your friend code so you get as many gems as possible. I got a ghast. Hold on. Oh, 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 I was just messing around. I was, I got distracted. I'm supposed to be recording a video. Moving on to the next one. A lot of people forget about this, but just spinning, spinning the wheel, spinning the wheel. You need to do this every day because it, you can't go wrong. It's just a win situation. You're still, you're just getting free stuff, and you also have a chance of also getting like two easy gems, or even I think you get a hundred gems if you land on like the special one. Am I good? No way, I land on the special one. A really underrated one is the memory game. I know a lot of people skip this because it is long, but if you do this, you have a chance of getting like 10 gems. And if you really want to be the most efficient, get the most efficient way of making gems, try and like max this out. But I'm pretty sure you could get a maximum of 10 gems. Well, never mind, it's only one. I'm gonna go on to like a pretty like simple one that everyone remembers. So my singing monsters loves you guys going on every day. If you guys are on every day, my singing monsters will reward you with more gems. So in total, every 10 days, you will get 28 gems, which also converts to 2.8 gems every day. Moving on to the next one, which is don't spend. Alice, this is so obvious. I don't have to spend nothing. Shut up. I know you guys have really bad spending problems, and you guys need to fix that. Uh, if you don't, I'm very proud of you. Gems saved are gems made. And whenever you are going to spend gems on something, have the thought process. Will buying this get me more gems? And repeat that for everything you spend gems on. This is like how I make so much gems, right? I don't spend... Well, no, that's a bad example. I, I spend all my gems. Bruh. But when I when I was starting out on My Second Monsters, I, I could make it to like a thousand gems without any like... Without YouTube. I, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I was at a thousand gems. If I just did this strat of not spending logins, spin, and memory game, and rewards. Oh, wait. I just accidentally segued into our next thing, which is rewards. Okay, I can't. Rewards aren't on p the PC version of My Singing Monsters. But anyways, there will be like a little rewards tab in like the bottom left, I think. This tab allows you to do surveys and play games for gems. And normally in those surveys or games, they want you to play for a certain amount of time or make it to a certain area of the game. And I actually did use these myself. But if you don't know the strategy, you're not going to make anything. Because you see how there's like thousands of gems that you can get don't trust those anything above 50 gems as a reward is probably a scam but if it looks realistic and it's under 50 gems you could probably do one of those every single day so let's just give an estimate of 10 gems a day from rewards but one thing to remember is that they take around 30 to 20 minutes to do i i don't really do this one i'm gonna be honest you see this these goals they do give gems. I'm just going to include this because they are there. Personally, I wouldn't care that much about This is just like, if you're lazy, this is an everybody one. Everyone loves this. You know the mailbox, and sometimes they can give you like, Ah, oh, new update. Here's 20 gems. I don't care. They just give you 20 gems randomly. Just always remember to check your mailbox like once a week. Now, this is a big one. You need to listen to me here. You know what? Going back to uh, the don't spend gems part and having the thought process, will buying this get me more gems? This is the perfect example for mines. If you don't have a mine, any gems you make from now on will only be spent on mines. And once you have a mine on every single island that you can get it on, you will be making 21 gems a day. Going on to a little bit of a tricky one. This is like for like an average player. You need to get yourself in a good tribe. If your tribe reaches at least a thousand, you will be making a good bit of gems a week. And tribes are just good in general because they get you star power, which you can use to buy rares and decorations, which is just nice. For tribes, you will need a lot of shards. So 
make sure to give a lot of love to your shard making islands like ethereal and magic magical sanctum my next point's not even worth it i wouldn't recommend it but if you can't find a good good tribe i guess this is kind of an exception uh you go into currency and there's an exchange button and you can exchange you can exchange thirty thousand shards for one gem i only make like thirty thousand shards a day so personally i don't think it's worth it since i could just spend that on leveling up my uh tribal island monster and the reason why i'm telling you to get shards is because that's the best way to like level up your tribal island monster one of the starter ways to get sh shards a, a zinth farm my zinth farm's a bit mid at the moment also zinth farms are very good for making gems out of all these this is actually a pretty bad day i would be making a lot more gems I have a one in four chance on every single zinth to get diamonds and they produce two diamonds each so if these guys recharge every day and i have about 20 of them that's a guaranteed 10 gems a day and one day i might give a tutorial on how to optimize this and do this most efficiently because you need to follow some layouts and i just found out at most you can have 109 zinfs on one island so that means if you have a full zinf farm you're guaranteed 50 gems a day now i'm just gonna i've already said all the good ones i'm gonna throw in like a lot of shit ones the coliseum if you're like the number one coliseum player you will be making 100 gems a week personally i wouldn't i i think most people personally wouldn't it's just so much effort and another hard one that is pretty unreachable like you'll never reach it making it to number one on the leaderboard making it to number one on the leaderboard you will be making 100 gems a week i've been trying to get to number one for like a month now okay all you need to do to make 100 gems is apparently make it to top 10 i found out also i'd like to mention being a higher level has its perks in making gems for things like on the goals you will get like 250 gems for making it to level 75 i think and also the memory game you have higher or better rewards now before i end this video i want to mention the top three best stra strategies that i've mentioned so far and also the strategies which helped got me the most gems the best strategy i'd say is zinf farm that just gives so many gems but it does take a lot of a good bit of effort to get and for the second best strategy i put mines because it, it's not really that hard to get a good amount of gems you're getting out of it and for number one i'd say not spending you would be surprised how many gems you would see in your account if you don't spend also i think i would mention this none of those strategies will work if you're not logging in every single day now there is one strategy which gave me the like 90 percent of all my gems no 99 percent of all my 25,000 gems and that strategy is referral codes Bruh. now this only works if you have like a youtube channel anyways that's the end of the video if you have any more questions go join my discord and ask me there and upvote my plant iron with this friend code and bye bye <laughs>